man wants to break my door. Uh -uh. Babe, calm down now. Chasing you. See, leave all these things. I need to know. Know what? If Kenneth is having an affair, at least doing something that he doesn't want me to know. Papa. Kenneth. You know Kenneth is not a cheat. Babe, trust me. For the past few days, Kenneth has been acting weird. I can feel it, babe. Imagine he leaves the room in the middle of the night to take phone calls. Hmm. I can just feel it, babe. Like, okay, just last night, oh, let me not go far. Hmm. He left the room to take a call. Why? Wait, same last night? Yes. Um, my husband called Kenneth last night, and then he stepped out of the room to continue the call. Why was oh. he stepping out of the room to speak to Kenneth? You know, come to think of it, I never gave it a thought, but mm -hmm. now that you're mentioning it, why are they having private calls? Why? Babe, I can just feel something different. Kenneth mm. has been moving sneaky since he met that Lady Diana, or whatever her name is. Oh, and you know what? Diana. Wait, is it the lady he met on the plane? Yes, I should have never have agreed to, for that lunch date. Nice, so <laughs> why haven't you invited me since now? Did you come to compliment my house or are you bringing good news? Hmm. I will give you an opportunity to redeem yourself from the mess you made the last time. Tessie, you know Kenneth was in an accident. I couldn't just leave him alone. Except that you told me last minute that you would turn up only to cancel on me again. But, luckily you found another model who could step in for me, so let's just put that behind us, hmm? I need you to promise that you won't bail on me again. Tessie, the best booking manager in town. Look, I promise I won't, okay? At this point, I'll take anything you have for me, anything. Mm. Right. There's another big shoot in two weeks. In town or out of town? In town. It's glamour photography for a perfume collection. Uh, you'll need to feature a male model this time around. Uh, the brief is hot, sexy and steamy. <sighs> Goodness. Why do I keep getting these controversial bookings? You want to chase me from my husband's house. You got the goods, girl. Use it while you can before you fall preggers and everything goes to sleep. Tessie, isn't, isn't there anything else? I thought you said you would take whatever I give you. Or are you considering another line of work? I mean, you know how Kenneth feels about these type of shoots. And how much is the pay? <laughs> $5,000 per pick. But that depends on how many pictures they use in the end. What? $5,000 per picture? Yes. Of course, you get what's accrued to you after, you know, management fees have been deducted. <laughs> you know, I don't do small jobs anymore. I mean, <laughs> this money must be made. You know what, Tessie? I'll, I'll think about it and I'll let you know. Ah, there's nothing to think about, too. Nothing to think about. See, you bail on me this time. It's... <sighs> this is career suicide. Your reputation as a model will be ruined. Tessie, you wouldn't throw me under the bus like that. I don't want to, but I mean, people's monies and <laughs> time are on the line here. You cannot come and form my handle. Okay, I'll... I'll do it. Fantabulous. You know what, I was actually going out to see my friend Jane at her shop. Are you going out? 
Oh, I'm back to the office. Okay. All right, let's step up then. All right. Thank you so much for coming to us. Thank you. Would you drive? No. Babe. Why is your face like this now? What's wrong? <sighs> Babe. I don't know what to do. I've just been staring at this contract. I don't know what to do. What to do about what? I got another one of those modeling offers that if I take, Kenneth will hang me. <sighs> hang you or hang himself? Have you forgotten what happened the last time? What do you expect me to do? Turn it down? If I turn Nothing it down... Nothing will happen! And you would know, huh? It's not as if you're exactly liable to anybody, so I don't expect you to understand. Uh, okay. How much is this so-called job that you're shouting about? $5,000 per picture. Close your mouth. Close the mouth. <coughs> you see, ma. Uh, listen, babe. Listen and listen very good. I know that it's quite difficult to decline because, wait, <laughs> did you say 5,000 American dollars? Per picture, hard currency. Wow! Mm. Wow! Wow! Flora, wait, wait first. <clears throat> Wait, Madam Jane, sit down. Madam, I... this, wait, is this one hand walking, cat walking, or dog walking? I beg, I beg. Let me be practicing first. <laughs> because if yeah. you don't show up, uh. babe, the way I will grab that job. So you don't <laughs> change, Mount. <mouth, laughs> yeah. Your mouth don't change. Did you hear the figure? Five thousand dollars. Babes, <sighs> I've made up my mind. I'm going to do it, and I'm not going to let Kenneth know. Of course you will do it. But, babes, what if he finds out eventually? How will he find out now? How will he find out? He won't. Because my mouth will be sealed. As a matter of fact, you haven't told me anything. I didn't hear anything. As long as when they pay you, you come and settle the gods. This one is not serious, so. I'm serious, so. Mm. If you don't give me my own share, my mouth will run like tap. <laughs> now money they go use by you. Auntie, now you sabi. Make a practice work. Oh yeah, work, work, let me Make a quit. They say they pose first. Eh. Uh, eh, uh, what? Uh, <laughs> what is it? You're not so funny! <laughs> yes. Oh, that sounds like a really good opportunity. Uh, I'm excited. No, 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 I'm excited, I'm excited. It's just that... Uh, I'm going to be away for some time, and um, I would need to think about it. I would have to think about that. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Good, good. What's up, bro? Benny. How you doing? Benny, Benny. Live in the sorry. flesh. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm sort of a bit in I my know. head with this contract here. I'm trying to get things sorted out. I just got offered a really huge pilot team contract. So who is the poor client you are about to disappoint? <laughs> uh, that was that was the contract I was telling you about. Huge pilot contract. How much? Thirty five thousand dollars. Thirty five thousand dollars? Yeah. Are you serious? I just turned that down. Wait, 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 hold on a minute. Are they asking you to smuggle drugs or something? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> because I foresee you being the next Barry Seal. <laughs> Gosh, no, no. Oh, come on, no, no. That, That's not it. It's just... I'm just going to be away all the way in Singapore. Oh. I don't know if I can do that to Flora. Singapore. Yeah. That's an entirely different continent. Exactly why I turned it down. I don't know. It's just... And that's going to be most of the year. I'll be away most of the entire year. I don't think I can live with that man. So then, it's possible that you are afraid of leaving Flora all alone. You are afraid. I admit, oh, me, I admit, I admit, <laughs> I am afraid of leaving my wife. I know. I I'm, I'm afraid, man. It's just... Anyways, how's your TV interview coming along? 
Well, uh, it was less nerve-wracking than anticipated. Piece of candy. And when do we get to view it? Tonight. Oh, okay, right, true. Sure. So stay tuned. My guy's ready to celebrity. Yeah, yeah, you can Sorry, man, I'm just... I don't know, I'm thinking about this whole thing. I know, I know if I speak to Flora, she would understand, but... Just leaving her you and... Know. I, you know, the thing is, I'll feel bad and miserable. That's the truth. The truth is, this is one heck of an opportunity, but I trust you will make the right decision. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Gosh. Hi, honey. See ya, babe. Go punish the traffic in this state. Mm. It is absolutely ridiculous. Mm. Oh, a man cannot just work and have a good time. Sorry. You see, what matters is that you're home now, okay? How was work? It was good. But if I had any excitement coming to see you, it's all distinguished by the traffic I had to face. It's ridiculous, intense amount of time just wasted. Well, luckily we have something to cool you down. What are we celebrating? We are celebrating my, my loving and hardworking husband. Uh, if you're considering the celebration to be about the contract, I didn't take it, okay? I'm guessing Ben told you. You didn't take what? The contract. I'm guessing Ben told Jane, Jane, Jane told you. Obviously, it's Ben, so same thing. Jane and Ben are all the same people. Honey, I don't know what contract you're talking about. All right, so I was offered a flight contract, really good pay, but I have to be away from home from, for like one year, and it's really far away, like in a different a country. Yes. I mean, where were they planning to station you? <sighs> Singapore. Singapore? Singapore, yes, I know, it's crazy far. I, mean... I have to be away for one year. I just couldn't think about it. Anything else, leaving you the distance, I, I couldn't do it, honey. I couldn't do it. I couldn't even imagine having to deal with the distance and the time difference. It's, it would be unbearable. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to do it. I mean, technically, I haven't decided yet, but I know that my response will be no, thank you. That's for sure. Hey, babe. Um, babe? Yeah? I need you to promise that you won't bail on me again. Tessie, the best booking manager in town. Look, I promise I won't, okay? At this point, I'll take anything you have for me. Anything. Um. All right. There's another big shoot in two weeks. In town or out of town? In town. It's glamour photography for a perfume collection. Uh, you'll need to feature a male model this time around. Uh, the brief is hot, sexy and steamy. <sighs> Goodness. Why do I keep getting these controversial bookings? You want to chase me from my husband's house. Babe? What is it? You, you think I should take the job? No, it's... it's just... Baby, what is it? Talk to me. Okay, I'll... I'll do it. Fantabulous. Ah. Oh God, what will I tell Kenneth? <sighs> Baby, what is it? Talk to me. You know what? Ne never mind, honey. It's, it's fine. Okay, so, open up. No, you open up. I'm not drinking. I should open up. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for Ben's interview to come. I don't know what time it's supposed to start. I think it starts in like uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Ben, where are you now? The interview is about to start. Coming. 
Sorry, I was on a phone call with Kenneth. Why did it take so long? Was it not just to remind him of the interview? Laura has already reminded him of that. He was uh, gisting me about the Singapore contract. What Singapore contract? Babe, Ken was awarded a $35,000 flight contract in Singapore. And guess what? He turned it down because of the love of his life, Flora. Mado! $35,000? Oh, these people are enjoying American dollars. I'm telling you, man. Hey, Flora with her own, Kenneth with his own. Mad. Wait, hey. is, is Flora also making dollars? Ah. So, my bestie is going to be paid 5,000 American dollars per photo for a shoot. Beat per that. photo? Per photo! One photo, <laughs> I did 5,000 dollars. Oh my <laughs> god. Hmm. That's impressive. Who is this? Just one photo. Uh -uh. What is wrong with this woman now? Is she okay at all? That client or something. This woman just sent me a message to tell me that she will increase the rent of my shop. Oh, so you're referring to your shop's land? Lady. Who else? She did this three months ago and now she's doing this again. What, what, what sort of extortion is this now? The economy is very bad right now and it's taking a hit on everyone. So maybe landlords are just trying to cover up for their asses. And so? Economy is bad and so? Am I the cause of the economic meltdown? Eh? Is that why she wants to she, she, she wants to make me bankrupt? Wait, take a chill pill. How much is the money we're talking about? 20k! Just 20k. It's not that bad now. 20,000 naira per month. Calculate that in a year is how much? 240k. Oh. Oh. Cut cut your tongue. Like where, where, where am I supposed to get that kind of money from? Eh? How much do I even make from my shop, Seth? I, I totally get you. Look, babe, see, it's like I'll just close down that shop and come and start selling from the house. No, so. no, no, I do not agree to that. You're not going to sell from this house, please. Because, like, what am I supposed to do? If she thinks she'll get a dime from me, ah, she's joking. Would you rather she evict you? Let her evict me. Let her evict me. No problem. Let's see how she wants to get another tenant inside that shop. Let me see how she wants to get a tenant now. Rubbish. Uh uh. I'm sure I started to send her this message now. Babe, I don't watch it. Jeanette, my name is Jane, not Jeanette. Shabby, I told you that I've increased the rate and failure to pay is eviction with immediate effects. Pack all those things, move them! Madam, please. There are more civilized ways to handle situations like this. What is the meaning of this nonsense now, eh? Tell this your guy to stop, oh. Is it every time you'll be increasing the rent? You have your business. And I have mine. I gave you clear instructions. I want it beforehand, though. So stop making it look like I'm a bad person, oh. Pack all those things. Madam Landlady. Madam Landlady. Am I the only one in this building? Why are you always increasing my own rent? Remove all those things! Move them! Okay, you better stop that nonsense you're doing before I give you a dirty slap! I said, pack all those things! Jane, call Ben. Let him handle this. What's, what's the meaning of this nonsense? I already sent him a message. He'll be here soon. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! So, you want to call your husband to come and beat him? Yes! Look around, though! Look very well in case those your two eyes are not working. I have my bodyguard here. Remove all those things! Is, is this what you call it? Pack it! Remove the yeah, other! Pack everything! Pack it! Pack it. Oh, baby! Pack it! Thank God you're here! What is going on here? <sighs> is everything alright? <laughs> is this. <clears throat> is this your husband? Good evening, madam. Oh, no, please. Call me Comfort. <laughs> Good evening, madam Comfort. Oh. oh, by the way, my name is Ben. The writer. <laughs> I saw your interview some days back. You know, it oh. was so motivational. Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, you're such a fine man. I read all your romantic novels before the fire in my soul. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I'm sorry we had to meet under these, you know, circumstances. I'm just dealing with a 
difficult client. Who happens to be my wife? Uh, <clears throat> I know. Uh, Jane, now that Ben is here, I'll leave him. Okay. Thank you, Flora. <sighs> and you know, so, Madam Comfort, is there anything we can do to resolve this issue? Oh, there is no problem that is unsolvable. Udo, excuse us. You must be very stupid for dropping those clothes there. It's okay, it's okay. Easy. It's okay. Hmm? You will have to pay. How much is it? I am not paying a dime. Eh, Jeanette! Jane! Just Jane! It is that simple. What is it? Um, um, that's all. That's all. Uh, I will leave the both of you to discuss the terms and conditions. I'll be back tomorrow to collect payment. <laughs> What just happened? What did she tell you? Ah, uh, babe. What please, did she tell you? Please, what? please, please, just help me um, arrange these things back. When we get home, I'll tell you, okay? It's nothing serious. I've left me to slap that Alika, Alika, Alika looking bodyguard. It's okay, babe. It's okay. We'll sort it out, all right? The suspense is really killing me. What does she have to say? <sighs> Baby, thank you so much for coming to my rescue when I called you. Why do I suddenly have a feeling that there's a bot that will come up in your statement right now? A bot? No bots. But... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's a little extra something I need you to help me do to make all of this go away. Mm, really? Mm. And what is that, my darling? It so happens that Madame Comfort is a fan of yours, a huge fan of yours. Well, that's quite obvious. <laughs> and she wants you to have a private reading with her at her residence after dinner. For what? Babe, you know, you sit and read out loud one of your books. With her, of course. Okay. And that's enough to pay for the rent increment? Well, according to her. I don't think there's something fishy about this. No, I don't think so. It's just a private reading. Me and her alone in her residence? Mm-hmm. Oh, you might as well say you're trying to pimp me out. Come on, babe. God forbid. You know I'll never do that. Just look at this as a small gesture for the greater good. Babe, don't be naive. Uh, what if something goes wrong? Baby, what mm. could possibly go wrong? Stop being pessimistic. Besides, you're a man. Hmm? No. And it's just for one day, baby. You have dinner, you read out your book to her, and that's it. Sefini. I'm sorry, I can't. Baby, please now. Don't make this difficult. Are you really trying to pimp me out for God's sake? I'm not pimping you out. I just want you to help me now. I said I'm not having any private reading for anyone. Baby, please. I am not doing it. Okay, if you're not doing it, then there is no dinner for you in this house. How about that? <sighs> and I'm serious, so. Alright. I'll be at Ken's house. Are you not ashamed of yourself? You want to go and do longer throat in another man's house? Wow, this guy is so difficult. Hey, baby. Hi, How come you're still in bed, by the way? I'm avoiding going to the shop today. I don't want further embarrassment. <laughs> Babe. Why don't you just give that woman her money? Hmm? I won't. Or do you want to help me? Mm. Mm. 
No. <laughs> Whatever. You're playing this one yourself. I will just stay in bed and sleep. It's gonna work. Ben, the famous writer. Well done, no. I didn't get to congratulate you the other day, but the interview was really nice. Thank you very much. Eh, hey, please, can I speak with Jane? Her phone is switched off. Sure, she's right here. Hey, babes. What's up? Madam, why is your phone switched off? Uh, my sister, I'm not going to the shop today, so there's no need to pick any calls. Eh, hey, hey. No wonder Cecilia called me. See, she needs to exchange the dresses she bought too. Apparently, they are too small. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that one is her business too. When I told her to pick bigger sizes, what did she tell me? Ah, uh, Jane, it's just because I just finished eating. That's why it's looking tight. I like this one better. So she has to manage it because I'm not changing anything for her. Ah, uh, ah, uh, big madam Jane. That's bad customer service too. See, just attend to her, you hear? She'll be going to your shop today at 4 p.m. <sighs> Madam, I've heard you. No while. Alright, bye babes. Bye baby girl, we'll talk later. Bye. So, are you heading out now? Yeah, why? Could I need you to do me a little favor? What kind of favor is that? Um, I want you to help me collect something from a client. What happened? So she bought dresses from me, and apparently some of them are too tight. She wants to return them. That's not what I mean. What happened? That's and why are you not doing it yourself? Baby, why are you asking me this question again now? I already told you why. Please just help me. She'll be at the shop by 4 p.m. So I want you to help me collect um, the dresses she'll bring and allow her pick out bigger sizes. Hmm? Please. The um, shop key is on the dining table downstairs. Thank you, baby. I love you. Okay, I'll, I'll get it done. Right? Thank you. Of course you will. You're so you are thanking me and I've not even done anything. Are you sure? Ah, baby, thank you. I know you'll do it. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Have a great time, okay? Alright, baby. Bye. Madam, how far now? Done and dusted. He'll be there at 4 p.m. He thinks he has sense, Abby. How are you? Deception in the highest order. Eh, uh, see who's talking. <laughs> I beg you, give me just Jare. Have you told Mr. Kenneth about the shoot? Huh, Mike. No. In fact, oh, me, I'm leaving from here. Oh. I don't have time to be answering any of those questions. I even came to phone. I'm prepping for me and I'm prepping for me. <laughs> Hey, hey, God, do <laughs> she used to say me and you were the same thing, Abby? Ah, uh, you are who? Until you bad person, bloody scammer. <laughs> See, pot calling kettle black. <laughs> Auntie, keep me posted, Jerry. Okay. Okay, no problem. Make her the bank plate before Kenneth come. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Welcome, Madam Comfort. Um, please sit down. Good evening. How Good evening. are you? I'm fine. I um I 
I suppose you're here to see my wife, but unfortunately she's not here. I just came to check in with some client returns. <laughs> Bernard, Bernard, how innocent. Madam Comfort. Well, uh, what can I say? I'm glad you made it. Forgive me, but I don't quite follow. Made it for what, exactly? How about now? Losing up your soul? Steve. Hmm? Um, is this some kind of setup? Hmm? Well, I don't know. Jenna told me you agreed to do the reading if Oli is at the shop. And you don't know at how honored I am for you to read. Can, to can me. you just take your hands away from me, please? Just take your hands off me, okay? Mm. Don't, don't, no, 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 stop, 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 you know what? Just give me your account number. I'll pay the money myself. What's the big deal? We're at your wife's shop. Okay? The big deal is that I am enough. married. I am married for crying out loud. Look at my finger, okay? I don't want to give anybody any wrong impression. Before I change my mind, your account number right now. Come on. Could you stop that? Please! Your account number! Oh my, I can't believe she actually did that to you. My guy, your wife sold you for 200,000 naira. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. I'm very, very upset. I can't even go back home. I need to say, see, 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 relax. You can stay in my house. There's, there's enough room to go around for everyone. Besides, Flora isn't around. Okay? She's busy. She's staying out late. Oh, she's um, going for her photo shoot. What photo shoot are you talking about? Huh? Um... Jane told me that your wife told her she has this photo shoot that they were paying $5,000 per picture. You don't know about it? Um, you guys are swimming in all these dollars and I don't even know what's going on. I'm not aware of this, Ben. Mm -hmm. You know what? When she comes back home again, Ask her, I don't. Probably she'll fill you in all the details. I'm surprised she didn't tell me about such a huge, lucrative, and juicy opportunity. I'm sure she'll tell you when she comes back. Mm. You can ask her. You know, this is not strong enough. I need something stronger. She's not doing anything for me right now. You know what, Ben? Let's go out. Let's go have some hard drinks. Treats on me. Are you okay? I'm going to go and bring my key. I'm coming. Okay. Jake, so let, let, let me get my key. Are you okay? I'm fine. I just, I just need to. Just need to get my key. Baby, how did it go? Why did you take it so long to get home? How did what go? Oh, you mean the dresses that you asked me to pick from your clients? Huh? That's what you meant. Are you drunk? No, I am pissed! Uh, about that, I'm sorry. You don't need to be sorry. You don't need to be sorry because the reading went very well. Oh, really? Yes. Sir. That's good news. Uh, yes, it's very good news. Very good news because I now know that I'm moving out of this house and joining Comfort in her house. Excuse you. Ben, are you okay? I'm very okay. I now know that Compost is the dream woman for me. God forbid! Oh, really? Uh-uh. Wait. Did she brainwash you? She didn't or did have she to. put Juju in your drink? She did not have to brainwash me or put Juju in my drink. The mere fact that you deemed it fit to beat me out rather than pay a sum of 240000 naira that you owe makes me now know how less of a husband you think of me. Baby, why are you talking like this now? Look, I meant no harm. It was just a book reading. The funny thing is that it's not even the book reading that's the main issue here. The fact that you can easily sell your husband out. Babe, I, I, are you really serious right now? Seriously? Do I look like I'm joking? Can't you see that I'm packing? Okay, okay, okay. Wait, baby, baby. Don't even start. Baby, look, I am sorry. 
I'm so sorry. You should have just told me about how you well, felt. I tried to tell you for God's sake. I did try to tell you, but what did you do? You set me up. Baby, that's because I thought you were just proving stubborn about the whole thing. Oh, really? Yes. First of all, you disrespect me. And now you accuse me of being stubborn? Look, I know that I cannot change what I've done, but I'm sorry now. Please forgive me. You know what? You can say whatever you want to say. But I've made up my mind. Ben! Did what I what I did is what is it so bad that you want to leave me this night? I don't care. Ben, stop this thing that you're doing now. Ben! Baby, stop now. Where you go? Baby, stop. Baby! Ben! Ben! Ben, wait now. Oh. Jesse. Oh, you left your phone in my handbag. It's been ringing non-stop. Oh, thank you, thank you. And uh, about tomorrow's shoot. Yeah. Do we meet at the location or are you going to come pick me up? The location is good. See you tomorrow. Cool, good night. Oh, Mr. Kenneth. Madam Tessie, finally. I have seen you today. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Good. <laughs> That's amazing. Huh? That's nice. You're the Thank one you. that is uh, bringing my wife all this juicy, juicy big photo shoot. I hear that there's a $5,000 very juicy opportunity, this one. Huh? Oh, that? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> of course. Yeah. <laughs> that, Honey. Uh, how, how, how did you find out about that? Uh, how I found out about that? Uh, the most important thing is that you didn't want to let me know, and I know. Oh, honey, <laughs> why wouldn't I want you to know? It must have um, <laughs> skipped my mind. Um, may I be excused? No, 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 please, please. I would like to have a friendly chat, <laughs> conversation with this amazing woman that brings my wife all these mongay, delicious, juicy, expensive <sighs> photo shoots. Honey, no problems. <laughs> it's, it's getting late. I think you should do this. Another time. No, we shall do it tonight. I would like to have a friendly conversation with her. It's very important that I get to know more about what she does. So, Madam Tessie, please sit down. Sit down. Um, so tell me, what are we fans supposed to expect from this five thousand dollars for a photo shoot? You know, we fans. What are we mere fans meant to expect? You know, all of you are superstars now. But before you tell me about it, mm -hmm. would you like anything to drink? Maybe water, perhaps. Put a lot of ice, please. And if you have some snack, that would be good because I am hungry. <laughs> <laughs> My darling wife, please bring her some water and snacks. So back to what we were saying. Yes. Tell me about this um, shoot you're talking about. When are you guys going to do it? Ah, mm -hmm. it a big one. <laughs> Man, it was shot yesterday. Wait, let me show you. It was sh what? Yes, let me show you. It's the big. You already shot. Ah. The the the. The biggest shoot for. Flora yet. Take a look. <laughs> this is my wife. The pictures are sexy, right? I mean, you are the kind of ideal husband though. Not every man would support their wives, you know, you know posing semi nude with one other man. You know? Wow. Kenny? Baby, what's wrong? Mr. Kenneth, are you okay? Baby. Flora! So you went ahead to go and do that photo shoot I told you not to! You went ahead and do the nude! How could you? No, Kenneth, it, it wasn't nude. It was just the lighting and the angles and, and what I was wearing was nude. Baby, I promise it's not what it looks like. And besides, Tessie warned me that if I didn't take this job, it would be career suicide. Tessie! You are fired! What?! what? What kind of booking manager will subscribe to this kind of nonsense? My own wife! Nude! The type trying to make some cool money! Oh, you can take your cool money and get out of my house. Get out of, this is bullshit! Get, out of here. get out! Oh, Tessie, wait! Hey, blood, hey. Don't you dare go out. Don't. Tessie! Don't. Oh, you want to play! You. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you want to play. My wife! Nude photo shoots! I paid your bride price! Flora, what has he done again? See, I'm not in the mood for any more troubles tonight, too. Flora, what has he done again? See, I'm not in the mood for any more troubles tonight, too. Listen to this voice note. I have decided to leave you. 
and take the Singapore job. This might be an opportunity for us to think about what is really important in our marriage. Since you no longer value my position as your husband, there is no need for me to lose opportunities on your account. Goodbye, Flora. My Kenneth said this. My Kenneth. Is this some sort of ill luck? Our husbands leaving us both on the same night? Our husbands? <laughs> did, did someone cross us? What do you mean by our husbands? What happened between you and Ben? <sighs> Flora, I think Ben has left me. He went for a meeting with Comfort, came back home, packed his bags, and left the house. I've been trying to call him since he's not been taking my calls. I don't know where my husband is. I don't know where the landlady lives. I don't know what to do with myself, Laura. I don't even know if my husband is ever going to come back to me again. Give up like that, can you hear me? What are we going to do? Listen to me. I'm going to get Kenneth back. Even if it means me flying all the way to Singapore and searching for Kenneth state by state, I'll do it. I'll find him, put him in handcuffs, and bring him back home. He can't leave me. He can't. Flora, when my husband left the house, he was drunk. What if something bad happens to him? Where will I start from, Flora? Where will I start from if something bad happens to my husband? I need to go to the police station. Wait, 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 wait. Jane, calm down. Calm down. I think I know where he might be. Come with me. Come down. Ah! My wife. My wife, my own wife. The biggest shoot for Flora yet. Take a look. This is my wife. The pictures are sexy, right? I mean, you are kind of ideal husband, though. Not every man would support their wives, you know, posing semi nude with one other man. My wife, my own wife, is now showing her body all over Nigeria. My wife, the one that I use my money to pay for her bride price. <laughs> Oh. What about your wife? <laughs> what about my own uncle? My wife that did arrange it on top of my head. <laughs> Where is tomorrow? She got him. She 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 arranged a woman. She picked me out for small chicken change. Is... My own wife. I've suffered. I've suffered. Where is tomorrow? Where is tomorrow? Tomorrow come. <sighs> Where is tomorrow now? What is the time set? Ah! Tomorrow is still very far! Make tomorrow call now! Make a day go! Let go! Make a day go! I shall fly away into the sunshine. Fly, fly, fly. 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 I believe I can fly. Into the sky. Into the sky. <sighs> Every, uh, uh, Baby, now I promise I'll never do it again. Jane, Jane, I'm so sorry. Jane, please come back home. Jane, look, Jane, I promise I will never do it again. Jane, the peep is here. <laughs> Jane, the peep. Jane, the peep is here. What's happening? Are they drunk? I think so. Stop, baby. Mm. No, my word. I hear the voice of the one I used to know. I hear the voice of a woman that I used to know. This alcohol is talking to me. The one who is now one of the biggest strippers in this country, showing her body nude. Oh. Kenneth, it was, it was, I wasn't stripping. Ah, it is not. It is not. It is not. Ah, Kenneth. No, Kenneth. our marriage is over. Kenneth, don't say that. It is over. Don't over. Come tomorrow. Kenneth, please. Don't say 
Be yes. ready to play me. Okay. Ready to play because tomorrow I'll be gone. Tomorrow I'll be gone. You've taken enough already. <laughs> Flora, I think we should take them out of this place. Okay. Baby, you have to stand up because I can't carry you, okay? Uh, uh, my woman is a strong woman. Take care of the dog. Oh. Huh? And, and make my mistakes the topic of your novel. As long as you forgive me, I'm fine. Babe? Ben? <laughs> this man. Oh, this is so hard to Look at my little, beautiful, mini bitty mama sita. My bello, my lello, and my honey sugar. Mm. Mm. Missed you so much. Oh, I missed you too. How was your day? It was good. Smooth as always. Mm. Smooth like your skin. <laughs> honey drip morning. Thank God. Yeah. I'm certain it's the Singapore flight which stressed you out. Actually, it was the London flight. I cancelled the Singapore contract the morning after. You mean the morning after your drunkenness? The morning after you betrayed my trust. Honey, I thought we had a conversation about this. I know, this. I know. I don't want to talk, you know, I don't want to talk about it. Let's just move past it, okay? Okay, okay. come Mmm. What Let's I need you to do is take a shower so we can eat. I need to fill this machine before it gets to work. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Kenneth, I need your favorite meal. You are my favorite meal, baby. Have you taken a good look at yourself? Can I please eat? I know. I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> right, let's go. Can I please eat? Uh, all right, let's eat, baby. I cannot wait. Uh, Some nice spaghetti. Spaghettios. Spaghettios. Yes, hello. Hello, Mr. Kenneth. Yes, hello, who am I speaking with? This is Lady Diana. The woman you met on board the flight from Heathrow. You gave me your complimentary card. Oh, yes, yes, I remember. Um, it's a pleasure to meet you, madam. I'm actually calling to express my gratitude. Thank you so much. You saved the life. Oh, it's nothing. It's my obligation. I'm only doing my job. And I actually admire the way you are dedicated to your craft. Hmm? You're a lifesaver. And it's also an honor to meet with the pilot that flew the plane I boarded. You're welcome. Um, thank you for the compliment. Please call me Lady Diana. Lady Diana, okay? <laughs> okay, and um, I'm also calling to, you know, ask that we have lunch. Just let's have a lunch date. My own little way of showing appreciation, you know. Um, that, that won't be necessary. Um, your call is more than enough and it means a lot to me. Really, thank you so much for this extra hand of gesture of kindness. <clears throat> Listen, I don't mean no harm. Just a few hours of your time, please. Uh, all right, let me let me think about it. All right, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. 
Okay. Think about it and get back to me. I'll be expecting to hear from you, okay? It's nice talking with you again. Once again, thank you. It's nice talking to you too, um, Lady Diane. Have a good day. Have a good day. All right, bye. Are you tip I'm checking my meat. You're busy on your Leave it, Kenneth. You like me, don't you? Why do you have to do that with everything, Kenneth? I, I don't know. You just have a way with me. I'm feeling this machine, so... I just had a huge meal, and I'm tired. I think I need some rest. You can rest all you want, but you're going to tell me who Lady Diana is. I knew it. I, knew, I see. See, uh, <laughs> I, I, I knew it. I knew this was going to come. I knew you were going to ask. I was just waiting for the right time for you to ask it. <laughs> and why won't I ask it? I don't know uh, any Lady Diana, and, and Lady Diana was calling you, so why wouldn't I ask? Hmm? Or, you, or you, you even embedded her name on your head. You now know her full name, Lady Diana. Like, Kenneth, who she's is your Lady sister. Diana? <laughs> why are you laughing? Answer me. Baby, calm down. She's just a lady that I met on the flight, on my way back. You met her on the flight? Yes, and she just wants us to hang out so that she can thank me for a job well done. And how did she get your number? Well, she asked for it. And you gave her? Just like that? Baby, come on. I, of course, I said no the first time, but she was persistent. I'm only trying to be a gentleman. I was being nice. I was being kind. Persistent about what? Just wants to thank me for, you know, a job well done. A job well done? What did, what did you do for her? Okay, I'm going to tell you, but please, don't blow it out of proportion. Don't freak out. What do you mean? We experienced an intense turbulent flight and she freaked out. Baby, you had what? Were you okay? Were you hurt? No, I'm, I'm fine, baby. Baby, why didn't you tell me? It's okay, it's not a big deal. I'm here now, aren't I? It is a big deal. You should have told me. Well, when you came home this evening, you said you had a smooth flight as usual. It was. So you lied? It was a smooth flight. I brought it under control. I wasn't lying. Still, you should have told me, honey. I'm telling you now. That's why she wants to have lunch. It's just a harmless date, I promise. Oh, why does she want it with you? Are you the only one that flew the plane or what? <laughs> or does this woman have eyes on you? Kenneth? <laughs> Kenneth! Stop laughing and oh, answer me! Oh my god. Baby, listen. She doesn't have eyes for me. I promise you that. And how exactly would you know? Because she's an old woman. It's just a harmless lunch date, baby. She's old? Okay, look. You know what, Kenneth? Just do whatever you want. I, I was... don't approve of it, but if you want to go out with this old woman on a date, then fine. I was just about to say that. Listen, if you don't want me to go, I promise I won't go. In fact, cancelled. I'm not going anywhere. Forget about it. Really? Yeah, I'm done. I don't care. I mean, but, but what if what if she's she's a good person with? Sincere intentions. I mean, you said she's old. You know what? I'll think about it and I'll let you know when I decide. Your wish is my command, Your Majesty. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth, you can go to your lunch dates with this old woman. I trust you. Of course you trust me. You know she can't keep up with this machine that you are. <laughs> but just don't do anything. That I wouldn't do. Okay, I'm gonna kill her if I do. <laughs> <laughs> so, mm. I think you should go shower. This shower that you've been talking about, shower, shower, shower. See, Flora, if you want something, just go straight to the point and say it. You know I know what you're looking for. What am I looking for? Where? Where? 
Where? You know I know what you want. I have your medicine. Which is? Which is? <laughs> Let me help you take off your time. Ah, uh, don't start something you can't finish. I love coming here. It's my favorite restaurant. You must be a regular customer here. You can say that again. <laughs> I, I don't mean to pry, but I don't know anything about you. What do you want to know about me? Feel free to ask me anything. Like what do you do for a living? I'm a businesswoman. Hmm. What kind of business? The kind of business that is capable of changing your entire life forever. Mr. Kenneth, this is not just a lunch date. It's actually an opportunity for me to introduce you to my kind of business. Well, I'm not a businessman. I'm a pilot. I know. You can be a pilot and still be a businessman. You can call it side hustle if you may. Mr. Kenneth, do you have children? You married? Um, I don't have kids yet. My wife and I are still expecting. Good. And will you like to give them, I mean your wife and your unborn children, a better life? Of course. Why do you ask? Because I want um, to introduce to my kind of business. I want us to work as partners, I mean like a team. That is if you're willing to take the risk. Of course I know you're capable. <laughs> well, I hate to admit, but I... You're right, I, I enjoy taking risks. Mm. I admire what you do very well. It's not just a passion. It takes a courageous man to be a pilot. And I know you're a risk taker, so you can partner with me. Mr. Kenneth, I have a business proposal for you and it will fetch you a huge sum of money. If you're willing to take the risk, of course I know you're capable. Capable of what exactly? I want us to work as a team. Carry out a deal for us each time you're meant to fly. What kind of deal are we talking about? You smuggle in hand drugs into the plane for my boss. Come on, Ben, where have you been? Well, come on, I was in an ongoing meeting. You said you were going to be right here, but here right I am away. now, okay? What is it you wanted to talk about that I couldn't solve the phone? Drugs. Drugs? Drugs. What? what? Ken, are, are, you, are you dealing now? No, of course not, no! She, she wants me to move around some kilos for her. I know, and she's gonna pay me for it. For her boss. I should do it for her boss. She works for someone. Mm. 
She wants you to move drugs. Damn! That's what I said. She calls her name Lady Diane. <sighs> I can't believe this. Yo, but I didn't believe it myself until she, 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 you know, tried to convince me and told me about the money she's going to pay me. Boy, my the money was so sweet. It looked so good. It looked so lucrative and inviting. And I don't know what I've done. Do I, what am I doing? Can I, can I, listen, listen. Drug money is always inviting, okay? I know. And you know one thing that is also inviting? The low shit of risk involved. I know, I know. And she called me a risk taker. There she goes. She's a user, she's just trying to use you. I don't know. So how was the competition? What did you tell her? I told her to give me some time to think. Okay, you have you informed Flora about this? Of course not, no! She's gonna freak out! Better, because if you tell Flora, she tell Jane, and, and I don't think I'm ready for that kind of drama yet. Oh, I'm not ready either for that kind of drama. I don't want it. So, um, what next? What's the way forward? I told her to give me some time, some days to think about it. So, I don't know, I'm just gonna take some days <laughs> and think about it. Some days? Yeah. What do you need some days for? Don't tell me you're trying to consider this. Considering doing her bidding? I don't know. I just need some time to process this whole thing and know how I'm gonna handle it. Take it all in. I don't know what I'm doing. But I just have to figure it out. Well, whatever you're doing, just do it quick because you'll find someone else. And you end up missing an opportunity to either become a hero or make shit a lot of money. I know, I know, I know, I know. Tick tock, tick tock, I know. You know what, bro? Whenever she communicates with you, I want to be the first to know what she says. You'll definitely be the first to know, bro. Alright, and I always have your back any day at a time, okay? I know. Same here, man. And you'll be the first to know if anything happens. Okay, fine. No problem. I appreciate that. I have to catch up on the meeting and stuff like that. Alright. I'll call you. I'll call you if anything. Yeah. What's happening? Like, we kind of been sneaking out to take these phone calls. I mean, could it be another woman? Or is it Lady Diana? And if I ask him now, I'm sure he'll lie. I'll find out myself.
break my door. Uh -uh. Babe, calm down now. all these things i need to know know what come to think of it i never gave it a thought but mm. now that you're mentioning it why are they having private calls why babe i can just feel something different kenneth mm. has been moving sneaky since he met that lady diana or whatever her name is oh, and you know what diana. wait is it the lady he met on the plane yes i should have never have agreed to, for that lunch date uh, come on babe why would you let your husband have lunch with a woman you barely know Okay, just calm down. Listen, I followed them to the date. You did? Yes, now. Uh, and I was expecting them to go somewhere afterwards. A place like a hotel? Mm-hmm. So, do you want to... Is your husband after? No, he's not. Okay. Well, they didn't. Kenneth drove straight to the office. <sighs> did so... you... Did you hear what Kenneth and Ben were talking about? No, not at all. He said the conversation was important and he needed to do it privately. But you know what? I'll find out from Ben. Hey, you ask him, Abby. Mm -hmm. I'll also try and snoop around. Maybe yeah. check Kenneth's phone. Should. What? Don't tell Ben I'm the one that asked you. Of, of course now. I'm my baby. I'll do it stylishly. And I just... Kenneth... Babe, babe relax. Mm -hmm. I'm sure nothing is going wrong. We're just overthinking this whole situation. Okay? I don't know about thinking anything with my kind of Relax, Joe. Let me give you red wine to calm your mind, body, and soul. I, I'm not drinking. No, I don't want uh -uh. to. Babe, is it that bad? It's that bad now. I'm talking about Kenneth, babe. This is my marriage. I know, but Kenneth cannot cheat on you. I mean, have you seen yourself? Have you seen yourself? Who does he want to cheat on you with? Who? <laughs> uh, who? Let me get that wine, okay? <laughs> Don't bring that your 13% wine. Ah, though. see this one. Jealousy, jealousy. So you don't want to share your man, Abby? Uh, share uh, my man. <laughs> man. So, how are sales today? Fine. Mm. Babe. Hey, 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 I don't have money. This one you're doing me, babe. <laughs> I know that face. Hey, babe, it's not money, draw. See him. I was thinking we should hang out, you know, we can get away. You and I? Hmm? Yes, but with Kenneth and Flora. I mean, it's been a long time we did that together. Actually, that's true. So when do you have in mind? Um, how about this weekend? This weekend? Mm -hmm. Oh, do you have anything planned out? No, 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 not exactly, but... Um... I just think that next weekend we'll do just fine. Babe, hey, what's wrong with this weekend? It's not like we're doing anything. There's nothing wrong, but huh. don't you think Ken will be very busy? No. Busy doing what? Well, for starters, maybe working. Ah, uh, babe, it's the weekend. Nobody works during weekends. You know what? Let me just confirm from Flora. No, no, no. You, you just, no, don't bother calling Flora. Babe, listen. This weekend is out of it, okay? We'll do this next weekend. And I promise you, Ken is busy. You know what? I will inform him myself. Mm. Yes. This one, you're so certain of his itinerary. What's up? What do you mean, what's up? Yes, what's up? You and Ken have been talking frequently and privately recently. Babe, are babe, you guys planning anything? Babe, babe, listen. The fact that Ken and I are speaking privately or frequently does not imply that you're making any plans. So, what's with the... Frequent calls. I know you. You guys hardly speak this much. Jerry. This just started very recently. Okay, fine. Okay. Believe me when I say there is nothing up. Okay, just nothing. Okay, if you say so. If I say so? Yes, if you say so. You know what? Let's just go home. <sighs> Babe, what? Why this sudden change of attitude? I thought we had dinner plans. It's cancelled. Grab up your bag. Let's go. Why the change of attitude? Uh, what did I say? Honey, can you help me check the food on the fire? I don't want it to burn. Okay. I need to finish reading this chapter before standing. Alright, just hold on. We are we are now, now. <sighs> okay.
Tomorrow, what are you doing? Why are you reading my phone? Kenneth, how could you? How could I what? Don't you dare pretend you don't know what I'm talking about, Kenneth. I read your chat and I saw, I saw, I saw what you've been I, saying to Lady Diana. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. Yeah, these are private messages. You shouldn't be reading through my messages. They're private. private Have some messages? privacy, some boundaries, yes. Private messages? Yes. Well, you lost privacy the minute you married me, Kenneth. How could you agree to carry hard drugs for her boss? Kenneth, how could you even fathom? How could you process that, Kenneth? It's not what you think, okay? It's not what I think. It's not. You, you clearly said that you're going to meet her at your favorite restaurant and she's going to give you the package and you're going to take it on your next flight. Kenneth, how could you agree to such a thing? Listen. You would lose your license, your job, our life, everything okay. we've built. Oh, okay, all right. I'm not stupid. I'm not daft. I'm not dumb. Yes, I, I agreed fine to do it, but I'm not going to actually do it. Of course I won't. Obviously not. I would never do anything illegal or dubious without letting you know. You know this. Please. Well, why didn't you tell me? Or at least tell me what that woman eventually wanted from you. Did you tell Ben? Did you tell Ben? I don't want to talk about this. I'm hungry. I just want to sit down and eat and have a quiet taste evening. You that food if you don't answer me, Kenneth. Oh, shit. Did you tell him? Yes, I did. Oh. So you told Ben, your friend, and not your wife. Babe, Kenneth, who is more important to you? Babe, obviously you are more important than, than anyone else. Obviously me. But I'm definitely the last person on your list to be told, right? Come on, I... I, I, I didn't want you to be worried. I didn't want you to think too much about this. I had this under control, please. please. Still, you should have told me, Kenneth. You should have told me. I'm, I, listen, I'm sorry. I just didn't want you to worry. I knew what I was doing. Well, I'm already worried. And, and, and did Ben advise you to go ahead with this dubious act? No. Was that what he advised no, you? No, no, never. Never. Ben would never do that. You know this. He would never agree to such a thing. Come on. You know him. Please, baby, trust me. Please, just trust me. I beg you. Do you trust me? I don't know. Do you trust me? Do you trust your husband? The man that you married? I need to know. I need you to tell me. Look me in the eyes. Tell me, please. Good. Then trust me, I would never do anything stupid. I would never bring any shame to this family. I would never do anything illegal or dubious. I know what I'm doing. Just trust me. Kenneth, I'm not comfortable with this. That's so I see her more. <laughs> so this lady Diana woman is a drug dealer. <laughs> as you're seeing that woman looking cold and innocent, mm. you just assume the most innocent. She's a drug dealer. Um, <laughs> uh, looks can be very deceptive. Oh, uh, obviously. Look at me even thinking, you know, maybe the woman wants to have an affair with my husband or anything deep like that. Not knowing she wants to turn my Kenneth into a drug pusher like her. But you know they hear what now? She I told you your husband was not cheating on you. You told me. You know the hear word now. And you know your husband knew as well, Adi. You see these men, why do they keep lying to us? My dear. Ben told me that Kenneth was going for work. Work? Kenneth is not flying this weekend. Can you imagine? So why did he have to lie? But if Kenneth is not flying this weekend, then what's happening this weekend? I mean, I don't know. Kenneth asked me to trust him, but <sighs> I, don't, I have doubts, so... Of course you will. Trust him, yet he doesn't tell you the truth. Why don't just come out plain and tell us the truth? 
I know that he said I should trust him, but I don't I don't think I do. I don't trust Ben either. What are you thinking? I mean, since I know where they're going to be, I think I know exactly what to do. Mm hmm Hmm. Hmm. That old hag wants to turn my Kenneth yeah. after everything we've built. This is crazy. This is really, really crazy. That's her. That's Lady Diana. Let's go and meet her. We need to warn her to stay away from Kenneth and never involve him in any of her fraudulent activities. Otherwise, we'll send the police to her. Yes, so my Kenneth will never involve himself with her. Let's go. I know you're Lady Diana. Yes, I am. And who are you? Obviously, you don't know who I am, but I'm going to tell you exactly who I am. Hey, ladies. Baby. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt you, madam, but I need to talk to this too. But I'm not done here. Oh, yes, you're done. Let's go. Please. to keep you waiting. It's okay. I was just about to call you. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I got held up by traffic, but I'm here now. Okay. Mr. Kenneth, are you sure you're ready for this? Absolutely. I want the best for my family and I. I'm ready. Good. Now I'm going to pass it to you under the table. Please be very discreet about this. Listen, it's between you and I. Hmm? Okay. Lady Diana, you are under arrest for the possession of illegal drugs. What? You set me up. How dare you? You really think I was going to be a part of this criminal activity? Of what? Trafficking drugs? No, Lady Diane. The likes of you are going to jail. You bloody traitor. Yes, you can call me a traitor, but at least I'm not a criminal like you. Please, take her away. And it's right there underneath the table. between couples that are very much in love. Baby, let's not let him win. Look, I know that I messed up and I'm sincerely sorry. I promise it won't happen again. From now on, I will trust your decisions to handle things, okay? After all, you are the head of the home, the man of the house, the king of my castle, my one and only true love. Baby, I'm sorry. I love you. I love you too. Anyways, I am cooking a stump for you 
Mm. After that, get ready because there shall be fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the actual is wrong with you? Like, what are you doing? Kenneth. You almost blew my cover. Do you know that? I'm sorry, Kenneth. I didn't know you had the drug law enforcement. Of course you didn't know. I told you to trust me. I told you many times, trust me. I was scared. Scared? Scared of what? What exactly are you scared of? That you were I going told to... you I had it under control. I told you this many times. Kenneth, I thought you were going to go through her, her plan and carry the hard drugs. Uh, oh. So what you do, you keep apologizing. Apologizing, apologizing, apologizing. You keep messing these things up. You almost blew my cover. If Ben hadn't seen his wife, recognized her, and saw both of you walking through that door, you would have absolutely blown and ruined everything. Sorry. You're sorry. What were you trying to prove? You're sorry? I wasn't trying to prove anything, Kenneth. I I promise from now on, if you say you're gonna solve anything, I, I trust you, I'll trust you. Kenneth. <sighs> Kenneth, please. Look, I understand. You have every right to react the way you're reacting right now. Well, I had my reasons, okay? I... I love you, Kenneth. I love you, and if anything were to ever happen to you, I'd become a shadow of myself. Do you know how difficult it is for me, Kenneth? Every single time you fly, I can't function properly. I can't sleep. I'm worried sick about you when I pray to God. I beg him that he brings you back to me in one piece, Kenneth. I love you and I... I would never be the same without you. Call me crazy, but I, I, I'd fight for you, Kenneth. Look, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't trust you. I should have. Sweetheart. I'm no longer angry. I'm no longer mad at you. I understand. Sometimes I forget why you do the things you do and you've reminded me again. I love you too. Okay. But, as much as I appreciate what you're doing, looking out for me, I cannot bear or stand to see you endanger your life because of me. You can't do that. I don't want you to ever do that because of my sake. I'm the one that's supposed to be looking out for you, not the other way around. If anything should happen to you, how do you think I'm going to feel? It's my responsibility. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Floral, because she said she was certain that Ken was going to throw her out tonight. How about Kenneth is not that cruel? Let's try it. You should go check it. Well, let me check who it is. Yeah, go get that. I love my wife. Oh. I'm coming. What? 
No! What is it? What is it? Odie and Fred just got back into town. They've got nowhere to stay, so... They're staying at Ben and Jane's. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wahallah! 